What's going on guys, Matt here from Become Elite and today I'm remaking my high school highlight video. A few weeks ago I sat down and watched my high school highlight video for the first time in years and I gave a lot of my critique about my gameplay as well as the actual editing of the highlight video itself. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put that link in the description, but basically I feel like I've grown a lot as a player, but I've also learned a ton about contacting coaches, sending out emails, creating a highlight video, and marketing yourself as a player. So in this video I want to take all the critique that I gave about my highlight video and actually remake it and put it into practice to show you how that highlight video would look if I made it today. Now, I wanna make this very clear, but all these changes are like adding the extra little cherry on top of an ice cream sundae. The goal of this is not to take a bad highlight video and then edit it in a way that's gonna get you a division one college scholarship. The goal of this is to take a good highlight video and make it great, to add that little extra cherry on top of the ice cream sundae. So right now I'll play my original high school highlight video back from 2010, and if you guys have already seen this and just wanna skip ahead and see the final product, you can skip ahead to this time, but here's the original video.
So like I said in that critique video a few weeks ago, it really is a pretty decent highlight video for a 17 year old, 18 year old high school soccer player. Just from sending out that highlight video to coaches, I got a lot of attention from D1, D2, D3, and NAIA college coaches. But there's still a lot of improvements that can be done in that video. And it could have probably even got more attention and more coaches interested if I would have done these little changes back 10 years ago. So yesterday I took that highlight video, I cut it back up, I re-edited it, I added in all the extra improvements. And here is my new and improved high school highlight video.
So hopefully you guys can see a lot of the changes that I added to the video, but in case you missed some, here's the full list of what I did. The first change I made was the intro page. Within the first five seconds, I added a picture of myself, I added some stats of that season, I had a description of myself as a player, and some info of myself as a student. That little tiny change within the first five seconds now gives all the information a coach could ever want or need about me as a student athlete. It also gives a little picture of myself so he can connect that name with my face. This is gonna be much more beneficial for me trying to get recruited than my old intro page of just my name in my high school. The second thing I did is I actually lowered the raw audio of that video and I added some really subtle background music. I really do like the raw audio of the clip, so I did wanna leave that in there, but at the same time, I didn't want the screaming and yelling right in the coach's ear when he's trying to focus on the gameplay. I just thought that yelling and screaming could be a little bit obnoxious to a coach, so I decided to lower that volume, add in a little beat, so you can also kinda of enhance the mood of the video and hopefully be a non-distracting form of audio behind the clips so the main focus is on the actual soccer, the gameplay that's being done. The third thing I did is I completely changed the entire format of the highlight video. I put all my best clips, all my best goals, all my best plays at the very front of the video. This is because the highlight video needs to be very attention grabbing. At the very most, some coaches only watch the first 30, 20 seconds of a highlight video. You wanna put your best clips at the very beginning to catch their attention and hope that they stick around and watch the entire video. The fourth improvement that I made to the video is I added a circle to distinguish who I was on the field. If you're a high school soccer player and you're sending that video out to a college coach, that college coach has no idea really what you look like unless you have that picture in the first five seconds. He has no idea what team you play for, what color your jersey is. So it's really good to have a circle or an arrow to point out to him, this is me, focus on this player. Adding that little circle or arrow in your highlight video just kind of adds that little extra touch of professionalism and just makes it that much more easier for a college coach to recruit you. The fifth change I made to the highlight video was I actually took out a couple clips. In my old highlight video, there was like one random flicking header, there was like a bad pass that I had, and there was one clip where I kind of looked like a ball hog. I just went ahead and took those clips completely out of the highlight video. My old video was over four minutes in length, so I thought that taking those three clips out was still gonna make it long enough to send out to coaches. The final change that I made to this highlight video was I added in that outro page with my name, number, picture, contact info, and a little message just thanking any coach that watches this. I think this is just kind of a nice touch to add, and once again, it really does ingrain your name and your face into that coach's mind just one more time before the video ends, as well as just very clearly putting my contact information right there so a coach can easily contact me. So overall, the changes I made to the highlight video were pretty small, but I really do think it really helps improve the quality of the video. And I really do believe just those small changes are just going to help my success rate of getting recruited. Now, once again, you can't take a bad highlight video and add these small changes and expect it to become a great highlight video. That was already a pretty good highlight video from the start. It already was gonna gain me interest from D1 and D2 college coaches. I just added a little bit of extra flair and a little bit of tiny improvements to make it even better. These changes aren't gonna drastically change any coach's opinion about me as a player, but it's just there to optimize the success of the video. You just wanna make it as best as possible and have the best chances you can of getting recruited. Anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you guys can see those improvements and see how they do make the highlight video a little bit better. And uh, at the very least, I hope that you can take one of those tips, one of those pieces of advice, and just apply it to one of your future highlight videos. If you guys enjoyed the video, please, please, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, peace.